summer of my first year, I got a job as a research assistant. I was looking at uh, genetics in ribbon snakes. I was helping collect field samples. Uh, the summer of my th second and the summer of my third year, I've been working on my honors project. Um, usually, most students do it in one year, but I had the opportunity to collect two seasons worth of data. And I'm studying the dragonflies in the wetlands in order to better understand the effect of forestry. Dragonflies have two uh, major life stages, uh, the larvae stage and the adult stage. And the larvae are aquatic insects. Uh, you find them in bog pools within the wetlands that we're working in. And the reason why we think the larvae are good indicators of uh, forestry disturbance or disturbance on the wetland is because uh, they spend their time two or three years in the larval stage and this way uh, they're an indicator of water quality. Uh, what we're looking at is uh, the species diversity. So we're looking at, uh, we go out and we collect all these dragonflies, we take them back to the lab and we ID them down to species and then we look at the diversity and compare um, how many species are there between bogs and we also compare what species are there. So some species live in lakes, streams, and, and bogs, so they're pretty general, uh, while other species are very specific in where they live, uh, which would give us a better uh, indication of what was going on with the effect of forestry because we could have more samples. Mm -hmm.